want to tell you a story of the first thing I've ever said. This time doesn't work the way you think it does. You can tell me more because I'm always talking about the call. Alright, so. Quick note on this. This is about working on myself. Literally, it's like Karma Karoti. Um, I think it's Dariati for improve. And then just like. It's basically uh, me noting to the Rekka. Um, me doing stuff like weight trading. I mean, I haven't done it for a while, but I've done it sporadically through my life off and on. Like, you know, make sure my right arm and left arm are equivalent strength. Do, like, stuff to uh, work on my obliques and my abdomen specifically to, like, you know. Because, like, I have pretty strong legs, but, like, I got these, like, chicken bone arms. <laughs> anyway. So this is primarily going to be a booty tickle in the true episode. So I had a conversation, like, a pretty long one with, uh, the, uh, the dragon from the Bible. And, um... I oftentimes say, like, you can believe what I say or don't believe me. But, like, for the sake of argument, at least, it is my understanding that someone, a person born last century, basically, like, put together a gold tribute for the dragon from the Bible. Like, specifically. And, uh, that gave it the ability as a living person who put together a, like, a physical offering to the dragon of the Bible. Which is a supernatural entity. It might be a supernatural non-entity, but, like, the point is, it's su it's supernatural. And it's a ghost. Now, the living actually have a lot of power over the dead in general. Um, dragon or not. And... For him to... For this person who will call Jack for the sake of argument. Which is a different Jack, because, like, uh, apparently Jack is one of the names of the dragon. Like, he's Adam Jack. Apparently that's one of the ways that this person managed to leverage the dragon from the Bible, because... Messed up as it seems, like. Think about. Because we're just like. For the sake of argument, we're assuming this is all completely true. If a dragon. Had its gold stolen. Or had gold that was offered to it conditionally but the one who offered it conditionally had somehow the option to keep changing what the conditions were what wouldn't that dragon do now admittedly it's also a ghost but um things like gold actually have a lot of power over ghosts because of it being metal for one thing um, gold, in particular, being a solar metal, has a lot of power over ghosts. Like, not quite as much as, like, letter tin, but, like, still. <laughs> metal, in general, has a lot of power over ghosts. So, like, if this dude, born last century, had, like, a couple hundred pounds of gold, that might be all it takes. Like, it sounds messed up, but, like, it might be enough to compulse the dragon from the Bible. If it was offered in the right way. 
Or it might be able to, by itself, be enough to overpower a ghost that's, like, only 903 years old. Because that's not very old for a ghost. Someone with a lot of money could easily have that much. Easily. Now, like, why someone would be interested in blowing up a power plant, um, I don't know. We'd have to actually find that dude and ask him. So, like, there's that. Anyway. Adam Jack, would you like to say something? Well, yeah, the right of it. The, um, Patterson in question. I need them my gold tribute. There's literally nothing I could have done. I did a lot of harm. And yes, I do mean to the, the gentleman over at the, uh, the facility. That was forced to skin right. But I also mean about the turducketing, which was not exactly my idea. Uh, yes, I understand. I understand. Do you need to end this now? Because you've had a chance to say that the turducketing wasn't your idea. Um, I think that might be something I'd like to do tonight. Alright, Dad Jack. Well, um, this is Oracle. I'm gonna softly sing. Dream safely out there. <laughs>